Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. My brother, the question is asking, what are the conditions for a person to be successfully have completed the breastfeeding process? As in like, when does the mother and then sahib al meaning the father, become the parents through breastfeeding? Now the ulama have said that there are a number of conditions, uh, four or five conditions, and we're going to go through them here. But it's important for us to understand the Messenger of Allah وسلم, he said, meaning when the person has completed these, he then becomes, or she then, the child who has been breastfed, then becomes the offspring through breastfeeding to the mother who has breastfed that child. And her husband becomes the father of breastfeeding to, to that child. But it is only that child. Quite often, a lot of people understand. So if you got, for example, you got. Uh, Bakr and Amr, right? Bakr is breastfed by uh, Aisha. Bakr now becomes the son who has been breastfed through Aisha. His bi- biological blood brother, who is Amr, has got nothing to do with Aisha. It only applies to Amr, who has been breastfed. Another thing that a lot of people probably may not be aware of is that the person who has been breastfed. He only becomes mahram to her. Uh, there's nothing else that's connected to it. There's no inheritance. There's no ties of kinship. There's no birr walidain. I mean, if he does that, then all of that is khair. As in, you know, he spends money on his mother through breastfeeding and she gives him gifts, you know, and all of those kind of things. That is all khair and goodness. And this is from the essence of what Islam teaches, but it's not obligatory. What is obligatory is for you to have this with your biological parents, not through your parents through breastfeeding. Right, so what are the conditions? Number one. The ulama has said that it must be human milk. And I think that makes perfect sense, right? But as you will see from this, we have a number of branches, a number of uh, you know, furu' that come off it. It has to be human milk. What do they mean by that? Meaning this milk is from the woman. And then what that basically means is whatever way that the child drinks it, it is then established that that child has drunk it and the rulings of breastfeeding then apply. So it doesn't have to be on the actual breast. It could be through a bottle, it could be through a cup, it could be through a spoon, etc. And this is a view of the majority of the ulama. Except the Maliki have said, no, it has to be actually breastfed. Now, like I've said, it has to be human milk from, from the mother. What if, the scholars have discussed it, so I'm just going to mention it. What if the milk is then turned into cheese? Or any other kind of, say the milk has become, you know, solidified or something, and the child has it. Is that included or not? And the majority have said yes. Why? Because what we're saying here in Asal, as long as it's milk, any form of that milk from that woman is included in breastfeeding. What about if the milk is then um, put into food? Majority say, yes, it's fine. What if the milk is put directly into the stomach without going through the mouth? The Shafi'i said, yes, because it is milk and it's gone to the place where it's, you know, uh, where it's intended. So now... From this you have a number of things that come off it But the first condition It has to be milk from the mother Condition number two Now the majority I would say Definitely the view of the Shafi'i and Hanabila Is that the minimum has to be a number of five times Now this five times can be done Any time within the first two years It can be done in the same sitting It can be done over a period of weeks or months As long as the child has been breastfed From that woman five times what does it mean, breastfed five times? Meaning the child has drunk, the milk has reached the stomach, and then it leaves off, it doesn't want any more basically, it leaves off the milk and it leaves off the feeding process uh, due to his own will. If the child has had a sip and then you force it away from the breast or from the cup and then you give him another one, then that's not included. What well, we're talking about five, uh, you know, fully nourishing, wholesome feedings where the child has had enough and it's reached the stomach. This is the view of the Shafi'i and the Hanabira. 
the Hanafis and the Malikis have said one feeding is enough because they have taken the linguistic understanding of breastfeeding. But Aisha radiallahu anha, she said it used to be 10, but it got abrogated to 5. So that's for us, seems to be more sound. Third condition that it has to be within the first two years. Now, this is a muscle again, where the scholars have differed. Is there breastfeeding beyond the two years? Meaning, can you breastfeed an adult? Now, obviously, it wouldn't be because she's aura to a non mahram man, it wouldn't be on the breast. It would be like the milk presented to him and he drinks from a glass or a cup. Would he then become the son to that woman? The answer is no, because the majority have said, It has to be done within the first two years if they want to complete the breastfeeding process. This is the view of the majority of the ulama. Others from the ulama because of the incident of Salim, etc. And this is the view of the Ahiri and it's also the view adopted by Mintaymi and others. Uh, is that yeah there is breastfeeding for uh, for the adult but for us what seems to be more correct is that it's done within the first two years and uh, beyond the first 24 months and it is not allowed the Hanafis extended it a little bit they said within the first 30 months because they have said six months for thalathina shahra wa hamluhu thalathina shahra Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah al-Hiqam حملته أمه كرها ووضعته كرها وحمله وفصاله ثلاثون شهرا. So in Surah Al-Hikaf, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is saying that the whole process takes thirty months. So the Hanafis have extended a little bit, but what seems to be the what is sirih and clear, two years. Hawlaini Kamilin. What makes it even more uh, clearer is the next um, condition and the hadith that we find within that. So that's condition number three. That it must be done within the th- first two years. Condition number four, it must be before the child begins to wean. Now, what that basically means is, now the majority of the men have said the two-year rule applies. Even if the child starts eating and wanting food, as long as it's done within the first 24 months, it's fine. Whereas the Maliki have said no. And this is also the view of Uthaymin, rahimahullah, where they have said, if the child wants food and is not interested in milk anymore, and this can happen any time within the first 24 months, the first two years, then the period of breastfeeding has now been closed because the child is not breastfeeding anymore. He wants food and it's getting nourished on food. So the so the Maliki are basically saying here is that the breastfeeding, the essence of it is that the child is growing and being nourished and the new skin and the bones are being developed with that breastfeeding milk. When it is now on food, when the child is now weaning and eating uh, and just wants food, then it's gone. And that could be six, that could be eight, that could be nine, it could be, you know, uh, any time within the first 24 months. In Bukhari, a Muslim, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu said, فَإِنَّمَا الرَّضَعَ مِنَ الْمَجَاعَةِ Now this is where the scholars have differed. What does this mean? فَإِنَّمَا الرَّضَعَ مِنَ الْمَجَاعَةِ The majority have said that maja'a refers to the first two years. And this now, like we have said, reinforces like we were saying before, uh, condition number three. Whereas the Malikiya have understood maja'a, meaning from jur, meaning that the person or the child has the rada'a whilst they are hungry for the milk. If they are not hungry for the milk anymore, then khalas, that's it, the time for the rada'a is over. Imam al Tirmidhi rahimahullah, brings a hadith which means Sahib al Bani. La yuharrim min rada'a illa ma fataq al ama'a. Now this is added to the evidences. Rada'ah, uh, meaning breastfeeding, is established when the milk enters into the stomach from the breast. And like we said before, it's not necessary that it's from the breast. قبل الفطام, meaning before the child eats and starts weaning. Imam al-Tirmid, rahimahullah, gives us this hadith. And this is one of the things with al-Tirmid, rahimahullah. He also, it's a book of fiqh. So he also explains the hadith quite often. This hadith has been accepted and acted upon with the majority of the scholars from the time of the Salaf, the companions and those who came after. And what's the understanding? That the breastfeeding, it has to be within the first two years. This is evidence for the previous one, which is that it has to be within the first two years. After 24 months, 
there is no rada'a, there is no establishment of uh, a person being mahram. I mean, if they wanted to drink the breast milk, they killed if they want, but they won't become mahram. And he's saying here, this is the view of the majority. But the fourth condition, I mean, kind of diverted here, but the fourth condition is it has to be for the child wants and demands and is growing on food more than milk. Whereas the majority have said, as you can see here, even we can see that from the statement of Tirmidhi, as long as within the first 24 months, even if the child is eating, even if the child is eating full time, as long as you feed, breastfeed before 24 months, these are the four conditions. I mean, there may be other things that could be mentioned, but I think we'll leave it at that. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he gives us the best of understanding and the best of lineage and the best of offspring. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unites us all in his firdaus al-a'la. Allahu a'la wa sallallahu ma'ala wa